Let's look at how to deploy your e-learning content through Articulate Online. This is a great alternative to a traditional LMS because you get a real simple, clean interface where you can manage and report on your content and your users. In fact, here's an example of a report. This is called an Attempt Detail Report, and it shows me all kinds of data about a specific learner's quiz performance. In a second, I'll show you how to run a report just like this. First, though, let's walk through how to upload a quiz from QuizMaker to Articulate Online. And you'd follow a similar process, by the way, to upload content from either Articulate Presenter or Engage. I've got a sample quiz here with just a couple of questions, and we're going to come up to the menu and select Publish, and then choose the Articulate Online tab. And here we can adjust the title of our quiz if we want, and we can also enter an optional description. If we do enter a description, that'll appear in Articulate Online when we're managing our content. We can also customize our reporting options. Right now this quiz is set to track passing or failing, and I'm just going to keep the defaults as they are now. This lower portion is where we enter our account information. Our URL and our password are things that we set up when we create an Articulate Online account. And your email address goes right here in the middle. In this example, I'm going to be logging in as an administrator, so the screens you'll see would be the same ones that you'd see if you're the administrator on your account. Now we click Publish, and QuizMaker will publish and upload our quiz to Articulate Online, all in one step. Now, your publishing and uploading time will depend on your connection speed and the size of your quiz or your course. When it's done, you'll see this window, and you'll click Manage Content. That'll open up your browser and bring you right into Articulate Online. An important thing that we'll want to do here is control who has access to the content that we just uploaded. So let's click this Permissions tab. Right now the content of my quiz is public, which means that anyone who has the right URL can take my quiz. But I can click Change and make my content private if I want. And if I do that, here I can mark all the people that I want to have access. These are folks that I set up earlier as users. And whenever anyone attempts to launch my content, the system will prompt them to first enter their email and their password, which I assigned to them previously in Articulate Online. So that's a little bit about permissions. Now let's talk about how you let folks know that they can view your content. To do that, we're going to come up here and click the Invite tab. And here you've got a number of options. You can copy this link and post it to a web page or email it to people. Or you can use this button to create an invitation that Articulate Online will email to whomever you choose. Or you can even use this option to create a launch button that you can insert on your web page. Now if you have users that need access to several content items, another option is to allow them access to a user portal where they can see all the content that they have permission to view. And we'll cover the user portal in another tutorial. So you've got a variety of choices for how to give users access to your content. Now let's take a look at that quiz that we uploaded. I'm going to go back up here to this Launch Content button. This will allow me to launch my quiz just like a user would experience if they clicked on an invitation in an email or on your web page. So let's go ahead and do that. And we'll just quickly take this quiz so we have some quiz results to look at. I'm going to answer the first question correctly. And the second question I'm going to answer incorrectly so that we can see what that looks like from a reporting perspective. And we got 50%, and I'm going to just go ahead and click Finish to close that out. So now that we took this quiz, there's some data connected to it, right? Let's see how that looks on a report. We're going to come up here to the Reports tab, and then use this drop-down to choose the Score Results report, and then click Run. And here we see the results of my quiz attempt. I scored 50%, and you can see the status is being reported as failed. Now if I want, I can see a breakdown of my answers by clicking on my percentage. And this gives us a view of the attempt detail report, which we saw earlier. Here are my two questions, and you can see from the green check mark I got that question right. And this red X indicates that I got the second question wrong. And for each question, I can see a little bit of detail about my options that were available, the correct response, and the answer that I marked. So this is just one of several reports that you can view. There are actually quite a few additional options for reporting on results, content, and your people. So that's a quick look at how to deploy and report on your e-learning through Articulate Online. If you'd like to take a test drive of this tool, you can set up a trial account for free and use it for 30 days. Just go to Articulate.com to sign up. Thanks for taking a look. I hope that was helpful.